Welcome everyone to this new video tutorial and in this video I would like to show you how to create um, point vector files with Quantum GIS in the current version Quantum GIS A1.8 I can see it here as a mapping basis for our digitization we will use uh, georeferenced map I've produced in a former video uh, so we will add this raster layer to our project and as you can see we have here some um, strange, no not strange, but um, well we have a coordinate reference system that is based on the Universal Transmit Carter uh, projection and um, but I would like to create a vector shapefile with geo coordinates with degrees and minutes and seconds so on. So we will have this mapping basis and we will concentrate here on the upper left corner. But first of all I would like to see whether this georeference variation was working right. So and we will use this tool for on for our uh, checking process. So we will use uh, OpenStreetMap layer as a reference in, in the background. So just click on plugins, open layers plugin and choose OpenStreetMap layer. If you don't have this plugin, go on Manage Plugins and make sure to find it here. So, um, as I've said, OpenLayers plugin at OpenStreetMap layer. So, this takes some time because it's um, fetching the tiles from the web. We will create another visibility and I'll actually, it is just loaded when you hit the map and you move the map or you zoom into the map. So we will also change the transparency here. So 70% is fine. Okay, this looks quite fine. So the georeferenciation was working good. We will zoom in in the area of interest, which is in the upper or northwestern corner of the map. So this takes some time as well. And here we have some places we can um, digitize. So uh, I would like to have two digitized version of Casanova and Nelson here and here. And as I've said, I would like to use um, WGS84 as um, a as, um, coordinate system. So first of all, we need to adjust the current version or the current projection here to be the one we desire. So click on this little globe here and choose WGS84. Let's take some time as well. Well, the map looks a little bit distorted, but nevertheless, it's an on-the-fly um, projection. So you see, you have a little transform here, uh, but nevertheless, it's working good. So um, now we check this, and we have the city of Casanova here and the city of Nelson there. And what we will do now is we will create a new shapefile layer, which is point in the moment. And we need new attributes like, of course, first the name of the city, which is text data and not a number, and 80 possible characters will be fine in the moment. So we'll add this to the attribute list. And we would like to have something like population, which is, of course, a whole number, and I think eight um, digits will be fine for the population number. So we will add this to the attributes list as well. Click on OK. Define a name for it. So cities northwest map dot shp. Click on save. Here we are. So this is now the layer and we will use the toggle editing button to be able to edit this this map uh, this feature we will add a feature here or click on the add feature button click on a point well I was searching here for Casanova the ID can you can choose your ID but uh, if you have something like a scheme for it but never on most in most cases you will use a generated one by quantum GIS but the name of the city is of course Casanova and the population, maybe 30,000, I don't know. Just press on OK, and there we have our first point. Now, create a second point here in Nelson. 
the Snelson population maybe 12,000. Just press on OK. Now we have two features in our shape form and you can add or edit the position of it just by click and drop or drag and drop. Um, you can also um, select features no this was not the right function but you can select features by um, going into the attributes field or right click open attribute table here we have now our two or features so you can select each feature or all of them and then click on add or delete or cut it out but in the moment we will close this we will save our editing session for the moment we will unpress the editing function now let's go back to the open street map here we are so our cities are a little bit dislocated due to the fact that the mapping itself so the base map here wasn't that well uh, reprojected regarding the map in the background but we can have a look in the other in the other projection how it will um, how it will be drawn there so we have here Brighthampton the map so now the places are really good located so it's more or less a problem of projection and not of the coordinates itself so this is now at the moment our map you can have a look at the attributes again or in the properties of the map itself but this seems fine for the moment what we will do now is we will recheck whether the saving process and the whole editing of the uh, shape file was working fine so we will close this project now without saving we don't need that I'll open now a new QGIS session first of all I would like to use once again an open street map base layer and when it's loaded I will add the vector layer itself as well so here we are northwestern map click and open click and open again here we are so it looks fine for the moment we will zoom in there Well, opening the tiles always always took some, took some time. Come on. So here we are. We have Casanova here and Nelson there. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.